Well, I was in the process of making a video on repairing the floor and I was gonna, you know, grind off the rust and paint it and prime it and do all that and replace the body mounts. Well, usually that's all it is. You can see here, well, maybe you can't, but there's a hole there. It usually rusts out around the body mounts every time. Well, I've only seen three gloves in my life and every time one of those, it was rusted out there. This is no exception, but it wasn't too bad. It was only bad around one hole. But then I found more damage where I think water was getting in and sitting in the mat. You can see it there. It's really thin there. This is how you determine if metal's too thin. That's usually when you're like, yep, it's too thin. So I had to order a floor pan from Thailand and I gotta wait a couple weeks at least for it to get here. While we're waiting, let's go ahead and put on a new dash cover. This dash cover basically slips on top, you glue it down. See all these high ridges? You're kind of supposed to shave those off so that you know it doesn't hold up a piece of plastic and it can sit on here flat. Uh, this vent, I'm just gonna take it out. I'm gonna try to cut the vent out of a... I'll see what it takes to get this vent out. So then I have a good idea how to cut the vent out of a parts truck I have out there because it's actually in good shape. It's a 79 and it's not all screwed up. Then we need to clean it really good because the silicone obviously was not gonna stick to dirt very well. And then you essentially just do the silicone, pop it on, and let it dry. Now the reason I need to cut the vent out, you can see looking at the top of the, I hope you can see that. You look, looking at the top of the cover, these are just open holes. And they look really stupid as open holes. I made a piece out of door screen and uh, a refrigerator rack for my last one and it looked all right but i think if i can somehow glue the vent the oem vent up to this piece that's gonna look the best i vacuumed like 10 pounds of mice crap out of this thing when i first got it i mean i'm not exaggerating that that stuff was six inches thick on the floor and it still just stinks in here but man I just, uh, for love dashes, this dash is absolutely amazing. I mean, of course it's cracked, but look at that, two cracks. That's unbelievable. Look at this vent. So I, I hate to cut into this dash, but I do want this vent. So I think what I'm gonna do if I can, cut the dash right along there to preserve the vent because I don't want to booger it up. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, I thought this was gonna be more of a pain. Oh yeah, look at that. So I got the vent out of that donor kind of mocked up here. And I've got it, you can see I've got it pushed against the edge to where it sits naturally. Here, to where it sits naturally on that vent. So we're gonna adhere the defroster vent to the dash cover first. Probably let it, well, let it dry a little bit. And then we'll install the dash all as one. This is the adhesive that comes with it. I think it's pretty good stuff. Now, I do remember from last time, I didn't think this was near enough. So I got my own tube of silicone adhesive, basically, just so I had enough extra. We're gonna go ahead and stick this vent on, place it, and I'm gonna set a weight on it so it can be drying to kind of kind of hold it in there. Now, before I forget to tell you, one thing the instructions do say is you don't wanna glue this whole thing on. I think so it allows for thermal expansion. You only wanna glue, glue around the perimeter and you wanna glue around the perimeter of this. Well, since this is a separate piece, I'm gonna go ahead and glue it where this, where that remaining piece of dash is there. I'm gonna apply adhesive there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and apply adhesive here because it lands, it lands up here in this zone. This will help this stick to this. And I don't have a speaker anyway, but I do kinda of want it to look okay through the holes. See where that lands down below the holes? That's where we're gonna glue right there. And it said, the instructions say a pencil width for your thickness of your adhesive here. Oh, and you're supposed to rough it up too. Let's just pretend that I did rough this up. It's kind of rough anyway. See this, yeah, this adhesive does not go very far. Look how much I've already used. So if you're gonna do this, do go ahead and buy some more silicone adhesive.
too much there. Now it's squeezing out. No. No. I should have been I should have stopped a little further away. Dang it. Throw that there. Grab a couple bricks. Use that to apply a little bit of a little bit more downforce there. As you can see, I kind of popped those up into this opening. And that, that helped me center it the best I can. Now we're gonna go ahead and get these pieces trimmed, get those high edges trimmed off. I'm actually gonna cut out a little bit more here around the vent, because I don't want the piece I glued in, the piece I glued in to interfere with any of this. So I'm gonna trim that, trim that off, trim all the high spots. Then I got a regular box cutter. See where I can access it. I might be able to, oh yeah. This, I always like, there's just no reason not to use a sharp knife. It's gonna cut easier and not drag as much. But this actually is cutting pretty easy. Let's kind of trim the high spot there. kind of feel it I think don't get too carried away you want oh like that well, you won't have any dash left you know what I mean now see since this is sticking up and I'm putting that piece in here I'm just gonna go ahead and whop. lop that whole chunk off oh it doesn't even fight me Oh yeah, that works good. Let's go ahead and deal with this here. This high spot. And you can kind of run your hand over it. You can feel if it's still, still sticking up big time. Like I said, you don't, you can't get it perfectly. I mean, you could get it perfectly smooth, but I don't really think it's necessary. You do want that there to support your dash. It'll go in here like on a other love. I had this whole piece missing, but you need it for support or else it's just flapping in the breeze and you don't want that. I think you get the idea. So I'm gonna finish the dash and we'll bring you back when I'm done. We're gonna go ahead and apply the silicone and jam this cap on there. I'm actually gonna apply this to the cap, but I have a little piece of metal back here. Along this edge, I need to apply it. I damn sure don't wanna get it on the window seal because we don't want any of this sticking to that. So I'm gonna goop this back there. Here. One thing I'm going to be careful about is up here around the edges, up here in the corner, because I don't want it to ooze out. Try not to get silicone where it's not supposed to be. Okay. The light's going out. Perfect timing. Stick that down. We're gonna grab those and jam them in there to hold that down tight. You can see how it's pushing it down. I'm gonna make sure I'm good there. So I'll keep doing that all the way across. Come on, Mike. Oh, oof da. I had it squeeze out. I was worried about that. See, I'm kind of pushing in here as I set that in there. It's important to get it in position up against this if you want it to look okay. See there, it squeezed out a little bit. So be careful on your application. Don't get too thick there or it will squeeze out. Got the t-shirts jammed in here to hold that in down nice and tight. And it kind of pulls this in tight and holds it. This end stick ended up sticking out just a little bit. But I didn't... I didn't overflow cock on that side, so that looks good. But it looks good. Now I just gotta let it dry. Well, it's the next day. The silicone's had time to dry now, so it should be fully cured. Let's go ahead and take the shirts out and see what the new dash looks like. Yeah, I mean, these dash covers, they're just really great. And I know there's a company, I've seen them on Facebook. They actually make a whole 
slip over replacement dash. It's a, looks like a really nice piece that covers up all of this stuff. But see, I've only got this one split here. And uh, I got a little one over here, but I don't know how expensive it is. I, I'm assuming it's really expensive. I think it's fiberglass. This is just plastic, but I put it in my other love. And it's held up in the sun and everything really well. So I'm gonna show you guys here that dash that I was talking about in this truck. It's been in here for a number of years. You can see it's had a hard life. See here, I haven't, I haven't done anything. This has been glued in here. And there wasn't much of this dash left. So actually it has, it has warped a little bit. But you can see it's not really, it's not glued to anything. There wasn't anything left. I just jammed some filler in there. Can't really see it. You can see, made the vents. Out of that's refrigerator vent and then just regular door screen but I'm gonna I'm gonna clean that up really quick then show you yeah so besides the little warp because it's it's really not attached there was hardly any dash left in here nothing here there wasn't much to attach it to other than this front piece so it we don't know you know this has sat in the Sun for years I just got that a week ago but this dash cover's been in here a good three years and sat out in the sun every day. And that's kind of what you can expect. I mean, it performs well. I can't say if it would have done this if I had more to attach it to or not. Yeah, I guess I'll, I'll press on it here and kind of show you what it... I mean, besides the, the ends there where it kind of, kind of isn't perfectly flush, I mean, that looks really nice. I like it. I glued that down that piece to the dash. It appears to have adhered well, because that's not, that's not flapping in the breeze. I mean, I just, I have no complaints with that. We'll put a little, uh, I don't know if you guys have ever seen it, put a little armor roll on there and that'll darken that up. I've also seen people do it with flame. I might do a little research and try to figure out what the most effective way to do it. I don't know about getting flame in here, but well, for now I'm just going to do the armor all because I'm worried about getting the heat gun in here and doing an even job and it's going to look patchy. This at least, I, I know what's going to happen from this because I've done it before. So I just like to kind of just, I like to put it on there basically really heavy and let it really soak in there. I leave it for hours, days, and then come back and wipe up the excess. It's been about a week later. Go ahead and show you the finished product here. You see the armor all? What it did that vent really darkened it up. It was really light colored. It soaked that up. I haven't even wiped it. It just soaked it all up. It was so dry. I assume that's what happened. Maybe it flashes off a bit, but it does work, at least temporarily. I mean, I don't mind reapplying that every once in a while. That looks so much nicer. Thank you guys for watching this uh, video of installing this dash cover. The upcoming videos, we'll be finishing up this interior, fixing up the floor, we're going to be putting in some sound deadener, really making that nice, putting in a new floor cover, seat, seat cover, nothing crazy. Just the basics, easy stuff, all stuff you can do at home. And including that is uh, this weather strip. If you've got a Chevy Love, and this hasn't been replaced, you need to replace it. And I'm going to show you how. Subscribe, hit that notification bell, you'll be one of the first people to know. All five of you.